Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these mini Reese's pies. So keep watching. So start off with the food processor. We're gonna put 30 Oreo cookies in there and we're gonna process it until it becomes a fine crumb. And when they're a nice fine crumb, what we're gonna do is add one stick, which is a half a cup of melted butter to it. You can see now the Oreo has become like a dough, which is perfect. I have these small tart pans. This is what we're gonna to use to make this, but we're gonna put a crust in now. Just divide it up, put some in here. Should be enough to make four of these. Make sure you go up the sides because we want every part of this full. Now we're just gonna take these, put this in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, the crust should come out of the oven. It should be nice and firm. You can put it in the refrigerator and let it firm up a bit. And that's what I did. So as we make this recipe, I wanna stop for a moment and take a minute to talk to you about something that's very important. By now, you've probably heard that Russia has invaded Ukraine. And you might be asking yourself, why is that important for us in the US to understand? I mean, besides the fact of the enormous human toll, loss of life, destruction of property, um, these people are losing their homes, their whole livelihood has changed. Events like this are important for us to understand because of how it came to be. Russia is ruled by a dictator. And here in the US and around the world, we need to be careful to make sure we don't put someone in power who is a dictator. Those of us in the United States have very strong feelings about free speech and freedom of the press, and we wanna make sure nothing gets in the way of that. To keep these freedoms, we wanna make sure we vote in a way to ensure these freedoms stay the way they are. And of course, we'll be thinking about those in the Ukraine that are fighting every single day. This message was brought to you by the Better Internet Initiative. You can find out more by clicking the link in the description below. In a medium bowl, I'm gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese soften at room temperature. Next, we're gonna add two cups of creamy peanut butter. Now blend that together. Next, we're gonna add one cup of Cool Whip and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now just mix this together. All right, so I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. Let's put this in this bigger bowl so it doesn't make a mess. Now we're gonna put our filling into our crust and that's just simply, you can take a spoon and do it. Just plop some off in there. Nice, good amount. Spread it out nice and even. Now we're just gonna take some chocolate and drizzle on the top of it. Then we're gonna decorate with some Reese's Pieces. And now it's time for the taste test with our tiny spoon, of course. This is delicious. You love chocolate and peanut butter? This is the mini pie for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these mini Reese's pies. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you next time. I have these small tart pans that we're gonna use to put our, uh, make these easy and delicious Reese's, no. These easy mini Reese's, no. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these mini, uh, <clears throat> now I have these small tin, <clears throat>